Hi there Aquarius and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the month of July. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in the Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. First up, we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse position, followed then by the Ace of Cups upright. And next we have the Five of Swords in the upright position. And next we have Major Arcana Tower in the reverse position followed by the Ace of Wands reversed. And next we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, followed by the Three of Wands upright. And next we have Major Arcana the Hermit in reverse, followed by the Eight of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Six of Wands in the upright position. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Aquarius, for your overall energy, you have that of the Ten of Wands in the reverse position. I prefer to see this card reversed rather than <laughs> right side up because when it's right side up, this can represent carrying too much of a load, too many worries, too many burdens. When it is inverted like this, <clears throat> this could be that you guys are uh, not worrying as much maybe, or you could be uh, dropping some of your burdens. Maybe you're not um, taking on as many duties and responsibilities as you have in the past. And it could be that some of the duties and responsible you, responsibilities you were dealing with are lessening in the month of July. So very good energy for your overall. Crossing influence you have is the Ace of Cups in the upright position. The Ace of Cups um, is very lovely energy. This can represent, um, it's aces represent beginnings. This can be new beginnings in um, something creative or definitely something on the love front. Sometimes this comes up when there's an offer being made to you by the universe for uh, a budding romance when something comes up and you know it's just kind of there in your face <laughs> um, and the offer and the opportunity is there for others of you this could be an offer an opportunity to do something you absolutely love this can be an opportunity to um, do something in the creative field for some of you who are working in the creative field this would be um, something that you really love to do. For others of you, could just be um, a hobby, for example, something that you absolutely love to do and you have the opportunity to, you know, uh, get involved with it. So very nice energy. Sometimes the Ace of Cups can also represent practicing self-love, which is always a good thing. <laughs> Now in your past, this is something that could have been from a month or two ago, you have the Five of Swords in the upright position. This is a card of conflict. This is also a card of victory, but it's empty victory. This is where we come up against people and um, sometimes we can win um, at the cost of a valued friendship or a valued relationship, that type of energy. Um, this card has been coming up a lot, I noticed. Um, all day for all the signs not all the signs but a lot of signs are getting this card for you guys at least it's in the past it seems like maybe some of the conflict you guys were dealing with is now over and behind you which is a good thing now the energies you're leaving the month of june with coming into july with is the tower in the reverse position the tower upright this is where sudden shocking news can come out of nowhere and just kind of freak us out um this can sometimes represent a situation that goes um you know kind of belly up really quickly where we didn't expect it didn't see it coming uh, when it's inverted like this, this can represent sidestepping it or that the tower moment has passed. Um, this is energy you're kind of in right now, but this is giving way. So this is uh, sidestepping a potential, what could have been a potential disaster or shocking situation. Now that energy is giving way to the ace of wands in the reverse position. Um, this is another ace. It's about beginnings. However, it's reversed when it's upright. This is um, new beginnings, a brand new idea, a passionate offer perhaps coming your way, um, a brand new spark, an idea of something just sort of coming out of the anti-cosmos and 
it gives us that spark of passion. When it's inverted like this, this can sometimes represent that passion has gone out of a situation that could be work, that could be a relationship where there's no longer any passion there anymore. You don't feel any passion towards it. This can also represent a turn down of an offer of uh, something passionate. Maybe you've turned down an offer and averted a disaster. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure. This is just a general read, so it's going to play out differently for all of you. But for some of you, it could just m simply mean that you uh, have lost your passion in uh, something or, like I said, or a turn down of an offer. Now, the energies of the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position comes up in probably about two weeks' time, uh, around the middle of July. <clears throat> The Four of Pentacles in the upright, this is when we're holding on, this is the little hoarder card, I call it, uh, when we're hoarding things and holding on to things too tightly when we should be releasing it. But sometimes this card will come up when we're holding on to finances for a reason, because we want to take a trip or we want to start a business of our own or uh, there's various reasons why we would be, you know, saving money or holding on to money. When it's reversed like this, this can sometimes uh, represent releasing the purse strings a little bit. Maybe now feeling like we don't have to hold on to the money so much. Maybe whatever it is we were holding on to money for is now uh, been used and now we don't have to save so, so much now. For others of you, it could be representing letting go of material things. Maybe you're holding a garage sale and letting go of some of the um, material things that you've had, uh, you know, household items, clothing, things like that, that were cluttering up the house. Maybe you're just having garage sales to purge a lot of this. Very good energy when it's in reverse. It's about releasing. Now, this is you internally, not necessarily the face you're showing to the world, but how you could be feeling internally over the month of July. You have the Three of Wands in the upright position. Three of Wands is all about making a plan and we're almost there. It's as though some of you have a, a plan of action. This could be about business, work, or any, something like that, or even travel. Uh, building a home, things like that. But you're building towards something and you're almost there because you're at the Three of Wands level. You just need that one extra wand and boom, you have arrived, right? In the Four of Wands and you have your victory and success. Um, but you're feeling um, very productive, I think, in the month of July. You're feeling like you're moving towards something. You're taking action towards something that you're trying to manifest or build. Now, in your people environment, how people may be seeing you is Major Arcana, the Hermit, in the reverse position. The Hermit upright is when we're sort of uh, hiding ourselves away from the world because sometimes solitude is necessary when we're studying for exam, for example, or we're trying to um, go within to gain some self-knowledge about a certain subject, about ourselves. A lot of times we do study ourselves. And um, there's a lot, of, like I said, there's a lot of reasons why someone would go within into the hermit thing, sometimes for studying um, or reading up on a subject, but it's reversed. That means that people around you maybe are seeing you're no longer in that uh, solitary state anymore. You're coming back out into action, interacting with people again. Maybe that period of solitude or self-analysis or what have you is now come to an end and in the month of July you're out there being more sociable and people are noticing this about you. Now in the position of your hopes and fears you have the eight, eight of wands in the upright position. This is all about fast communication. This can represent short distance travel, that kind of energy, arrows of love find their mark. This can also indicate a lot of communication if we're looking for work or uh, online dating where we're putting our, ourselves out there and we're hoping for a lot of uh, you know response back and forth. So that's in your hopes position. Now the last card you have that closes out the read and close out the month for you guys is the Six of Wands in the upright position. Very happy to see this for you guys because perhaps at the end of the month, it looks like you do find your victory 
and success because here you're planning it seems like all month long you're in the planning phase and the planning stage and at the end of the month it shows you in the six of wands energy which is all about moving forward and having your success and feeling really good about it because you've worked long and hard towards this success this is accolades pats on the back and a lot of attention and feeling very victorious and very well received so wonderful way to end the month for you guys i hope this reading helped you aquarius if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise i will see you next time bye for now